everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Google Earth tour of Voices of Covid Generation. Manakkam. Yen peyar Pritika. Naan Pinanga Manilathil vasikum padana indu vaidu manavi. Hi. My name is Pritika. I'm 15 years old and I'm from the northern state of Penang. Dan nama saya Jericho, umur saya 17 dan saya tinggal di Sabah. And my name is Jericho. I'm 17 years old and I'm from the eastern state of Malaysia. We're both from Malaysia and we would like to take you on a virtual journey around Malaysia to meet some of our friends in different states. Jericho, have you ever been to Penang before? No, I haven't. I heard Penang Island is very historical. Yes, it is. Have you ever been to Sabah? Mm, no. I've always wanted to. Sabah has such beautiful natural places. Well, you should come here. You should come to Penang too. Okay, everybody. We are about to hear seven different voices from children all over Malaysia. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Penang, everyone. The beautiful island I call home. Before COVID-19, I used to love to hang out with my friends at the Penang Digital Library and many more parks around my housing area. My friends have prepared some reflections about their life during COVID-19. This is my recording for my log during life in the new normal that started in the month of March 2020. First, we got through with MCO for four months, if I'm not mistaken, and the period of MCO wasn't bad for me. I had ups and downs during that month, during that few months, but I came through it all. And now, to follow the new normal, it's a little bit hard. But as days pass by, I'm getting used to this new normal, and I don't find it hard at any ways. Pritika, I see you also have a reflection you want to share. Can you read it out for me? Sure. I wrote a poem entitled "When Will the Door Open?" Our fingers are crossed, hoping for a cure. We know it's not long away from us, but we tend to ignore. So when will the doors open? It will, one day. Till then, wash your hands. Don't go out. That's all from Penang. Where should we go next? You know, since we are already here in Penang, let's go to Kedah next. Great idea! VLCG is a program for everybody. Here in Kedah, we are going to a school for children with disabilities. In the program, they had to interview people about some of the fake news about COVID-19 that had confused a lot of people because people didn't know if some news were real or were fake. Let's listen to the interviews. Semasa PKP, berita palsu apakah yang anda dengar berkenaan COVID-19? Berita berita palsu yang sering berlegar adalah total lockdown yang mana kita tidak dibenarkan untuk keluar membeli atau apa-apa aktiviti. Kebanyi yang tak betul lah masa PKP tu apa stok makanan habis. Eh, roti dan dinia pun habis tau. Oh. That was really cool. Thanks for the sharing, friends. So, where shall we go next, Pritika? Well, I really want to go to Sabah and see your hometown. But before we go there, I really have to show you Para. BOCG received many types of reflections. Here in Para, we are going to hear about some advice about how to identify fake news about COVID-19. Have a look at the videos they made. Wow, they look like real newscasters. How do they do it? They use the green screen. Isn't that cool? Yeah, super cool. Very creative. Hey, look, there's another video. It's a rap video. Yeah, let's have a listen. Coronavirus kau datang dari Wuhan, kau buat ramai sakit. Kami jadi marah sebab ramai terjangkit. Tapi tak apa, kami ada frontliner untuk menjaga kami. Nanti jumpa vaksin kau hilang dan jangan datang lagi. That was a cool rap. 
I wish I could hear more music videos like this. Actually, you can. Let's go to Sabah to hear a few songs made by students. Welcome to the state of Sabah, home to Mount Kinabalu and beautiful natural reserves. So, Jericho, I heard you made a music video too, is that right? Yes, you've heard it right. And I am so glad that the VOCG allowed me to express it in the way that I am most important. So, I express myself using the poetic voice. I wrote this song during the pandemic. Have a listen! It was really catchy. I love it. Thanks, Pritika. And thanks for visiting my hometown. Now let's go to the biggest state in Malaysia next. Sarawak. Shams from SMK St. Thomas says, He misses the freedom of breathing in fresh air and taking a stroll at the waterfront alongside Sarawak River. I understand how he feels. I miss breathing in freely without a mask too. Yeah, that's great reflection, Shams. Okay, Pritika. Are you ready to go to a federal territory next? Kuala Lumpur? No. Putrajaya? Not that one. Mm, oh, that one! Yeah, let's go. When we were doing the VOCG program, it got us to think about how our lives have changed during the pandemic. And this video is sharing with us how her time with her family has changed. Check it out. was a really touching video. Good job, Adrienne. All right, we're done with Borneo Island. Shall we go back to Peninsula Malaysia? Let's go to Johor. We are back in West Malaysia, in Johor. I can almost see Singapore from here. Hello, Pritika. Someone else wrote a poem too, just like you. Oh wow, let's have a listen to it. Coronavirus suddenly arises, the world goes mad. Now, plans are flightless, coronavirus. Now you know, the earth is an antivirus. If you come back and try start a crisis, just know that the people of this planet we will definitely not be the nicest. That was really powerful, Shaman. I agree. Okay, Jericho, let's venture up north and go to Malacca. Hey, look, Jericho, it's a famosa. Wow, I've never been here before. Well, now you have, sort of. Here in Malacca, students are using their embassy voice and thinking about who are the most vulnerable communities affected during COVID-19. Check it out. Great job, Maharubini! It's true that it's really hard for homeless people to stay safe during COVID-19. It was great reading the reflections here. Well, ready to go to the next place? Yep! 
Here in Pahang, we are near the Felda area, where there are orang asli kids who are sharing their reflections from the VOCG program. Let's have a look! Oh no, poor Natasha. She was separated from her family for so long. Yeah, but I'm glad that they got to contact each other on a phone. Yeah, that's true. Well, Pritika, we're off to the next thing. Yeah, let's go! Putachaya. Selangor Hey Jericho, are you ready for our very last stop of our journey? Yes, I am Here in Kuala Lumpur, Alia has a special poem to share about COVID-19 entitled Ketamu Ane 19, Stranger 19 Sedari warga maya Datangmu membawa derita Datangmu tanpa dihinta Membawa seribu derita buat insan That was really touching Yes, I agree And I am glad that this program Is allowing us to share our different voices And I think it's important for adults to hear From the children of Malaysia So that they can understand how we feel what we're going through because this pandemic has changed our future and we need to hear all these voices because children are the future and i hope this pandemic will end soon and we will all get back to our normal lives this journey made me realize that we have so many talented kids all over malaysia i feel glad that people with different backgrounds get to be a part of this program and the reflections were so fun to read each of us has different experiences and getting to hear different reflections made us see that we have so much in common. Yet, we also get to see what makes each of us unique. Before we leave, we will listen to this song made by my friend Irish. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. Stay home, stay safe and keep sharing your voices.